do is welcome our beautiful, beautiful TikTokers on this Tuesday morning. Thank you very much, Dinky Doo, and welcome to the live. And uh, I hope everybody gets scrolling so they can come and join us. Is that not beautiful? Uh, good morning, Scotty. How are you doing? Gemma and Marie McRae, how lovely to hear from you. I hope you're having a nice time, my dear. Bless you, I see. And thank you for keeping in touch. Good morning. Good morning, John. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, first lord of the internet uh, here. Uh, not at the moment, just a change of management and now under the control of the Scottish Parliament. Great things ahead for the future of our railway system. Excellent, Stephen. And again, I reiterate, I'll clean it up afterwards. I reiterate um, that uh, thank you to you and your wonderful colleagues for everything you do for us, keeping us safe. Good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to the TikTokers. So lovely to have you with us. We had to pop down and pop up again. Follow us as soon as you can. Leslie was the first lady of the internet. She was, John. She was fantastic. Have you ever been to Ayrshire? I remember our interchanges. Uh, she was on your account, I think. Uh, and you used to say, it's John here, it's Leslie here. Have you ever been to Ayrshire? Oh, many, many a time have I been to Ayrshire. I'm a huge fan of Ayrshire. We love it. It's dinky do. Uh, I found the live again. Silence, Stan. What an act of genius, because sometimes when you go on TikTok, people don't find you again. What did you do, Silent Stan, out of interest to find us again? Because that's fantastic. Follow us as soon as you can. Karis, thank you very much for following. Guys, if everyone could follow Scotty McClure, that would be amazing. Hello, fellow Scott. Greetings from Edinburgh. Liam, greetings to you, and lovely to have you with us live on our pop-up, a random pop-up this Tuesday morning. So good to have everyone with us. You appeared on my FYP, Silent Stan. I wonder how that works, because somebody said to me, if you hashtag FYP, you're not going to get a chance nowadays of getting on it, but I still do it. I think keep the faith. Back in Lerwick for a few days, says John. Excellent, John Dinky do. Uh, Iron Brew, jolly good or oh, very good as Hustler. I can't tell you. Can we do a TikTok live battle one day? Vanilla, we can do anything you like. It's not a problem, I say to you. If you've just joined us on the TikTok, follow me, please. Very important that everybody follows and make sure you check out the TikTok videos. They are outstanding, and they're made with love for you. Check out the one yesterday about the red squirrels. Could you recreate the scene from Chewing the Fat? I'm only here for the banter. Well, McFarmer, we are only here for the banter. Let's not kid ourselves. There we are, dinky-doo. Uh, ask Hustler, you need to go. We'll ban you for life. Uh, you know, you need to go and have some privacy, and I will facilitate that. Ask Hustler's getting a lifetime ban for being an idiot. Remember, you never, ever, ever, ever scroll or troll Scotty McClue. There we are. Bye-bye, Ask Hustler. He's gone. Fantastic. Down the swanee with the idiots, guys, right away. Very important. Now, he's gone. Ellie, dinky do. I was born under a Union Jack, so you must have been a sailor then. Your dad must have been a sailor because the Union Jack only flies from the jack staff of Her Majesty's ships. There we are. It's actually the Union flag. I think that the Scottish flag should have precedence on the Union flag. I think we need to redesign it so that the overwhelming flag is a is the Scottish saltire. Yes, so very big blue background and the white St. Andrew's cross. Oh, no, you've gone, yes. Uh, no, my dad's a Rangers fan. Yeah, but uh, even Rangers fans are allowed in the Navy, I think, Her Majesty's Navy. I'm sure there have been Rangers fans in the Navy before. There we are. Uh, wonderful stuff. So lovely to see everybody this morning. What a great turnout, guys. You're watching Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet. 
Wonderful stuff. We're up for a few more minutes. Get the old ones out cleaning windows. Well, Larson, yes, I mean, are you out cleaning windows? That's what I say. Uh, but no, I'm sure a lot of elderly people, the only problem I find as you get older, you get little twinges from your knees and your ankles and your back and your thighs and your elbows and your shoulders. You know, you get little twinges. And I'm not sure if harsh physical work, although my father worked all his life and he could lift slabs in his 70s, you know. This life is better than the egg peeling one. Silence, Stan. That is a huge compliment indeed. The egg peeling is a beaut. Scotty, did you know that? Did I know what, Tracy? Uh, there we are. Tell me more. Uh, did I know that his dad was a Rangers fan? I cannot see. Um, what have we got here? Kelly has just joined us. Welcome, Kelly. Very lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky-doo from me, Scotty McClue. Uh, Stephen says, had a few days off last week. Went for a wee trip on the train to Carlisle. Then down the Tyne Valley to the Metro Centre. It's a beautiful scenic journey. Well, of course, Carlisle to Settle was the famous journey across the viaducts there, uh, Stephen. You know, the Carlisle to Settle railway line. Settle is Yorkshire, isn't it? There we are. Hey, Scotty, jam dinky do. A mind I used to listen to you when I was about 10. Jam 13. That's incredible. Uh, so you must be about 30 now. 40, maybe, you'll not be 40, no, you'll not be, well, no, you could be. I've been doing this for 30 years in June. Scotty McClure is 30 in June. Bailey the Chocolate Labrador, I love you. Hi, Scotty, do you think they'll ever be able to control the old firm crowd? The scenes on sun. See that, I'll, I would ban the lot. I think we need to scrap Rangers and Celtic and rebuild Glasgow United as a team. I think that we have to stop having a Celtic and a Rangers end and everybody stands together. I think we sing each other's songs. I think there should be silence for the national anthem. I think we need to remember that both Rangers and Celtic come from exactly the same religious background. Exactly the same. Yeah? So there we have it. Uh, they are Christian. Uh, are you a jambo? Well, I'm, I'm sort of a jambo. I like the jambos, but what I'll say to you, and I'm a bit of a high bee as well, what I'll say to you is that um, I'm sure I was at a Hibs Rangers game years ago. Would that be possible? There we go. I'm not, I mean, I don't uh, go to football a lot, of course, but uh, if you scroll down, the TikTok videos, you'll come across me playing, this is my story, this is my song, Follow the Hearts, and never go wrong, is it? Uh, so there we are. And you'll see me playing it on the squeeze box. Have a look for that one. Heart of Midlothian Football Club. And for some reason, somebody at Heart of Midlothian Football Club has, I would say mistakenly, blocked Scotty McClue on the Twitter account. I don't know what they could have been thinking. You know, one of the finest publicity machines on the planet, Scotty McClure, and somebody at Heart of Midlothian Football Club has blocked me on their Twitter account. So I think you need to be unblocking at Scotty McClure pronto. There we are. I don't know who controls the account. Hello from Croatia, Scotty. We love having you with us from Croatia. Love to Croatia from me, Scotty McClure. Yes, well said. There we are, Sapphire. Absolutely. I also think that if you're caught fighting a football match, they get your face on camera and you get a lifetime ban from ever attending a game again. Say so you fight like a, a, a very, like, no, you can't, you can't call them animals because animals don't behave like that. So you say you're out of control. There's no place for you in football. Lifetime ban. 
Also think that they need to crack down on football fans fighting and give them a proper maybe life imprisonment. So he's in jail for life because he was fighting at an old firm game. Unacceptable behaviour in Scotland. Uh, 30 years of great service to the broadcasting sector. A credit to your profession. Stephen Menzies, I thank you very, very much indeed. There's not much I haven't done in broadcasting. Uh, part of me would like to go back and read one news bulletin on national television. Uh, part of me would like to read the news on national radio. Here is the news. Good morning. Uh, yes, uh, St. Andrews bars the concept of the Confederates' Civil War flag. Is that right, Vanilla? Now, I didn't know that. You see, you learn so much on here. You pop up live and you learn and you learn and you learn. That's wonderful. Uh, so there are St. Andrews bars with the concept of the Confederates' Civil War flag. Now, what was going on? There were British steamships going to America and running the blockade. So what was going on there? Uh, can I join to diss my opinion? No, Sam, we won't diss your opinion unless it's nonsense. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time. Sectarianism forever, Glasgow's green and white. Yes, it's green, white, and red, white, and blue. So you would only need the red and the blue because you've already got the white. So why don't we have red, blue, and green? Yes, although they used to say blue and green should never be seen. But I've worn it, and it's, it looks quite swish. I've had the navy blue trousers and the dark green jumper. Uh, it's wonderful, but we need to be singing each other's songs. So the announcer needs to say, ladies and gentlemen, pray silence for everybody who's a Rangers fan are about to sing us the fields of Athen Rai. Pray silence, the Celtic fans are about to sing us uh, God Save the Queen. You see? So that sort of stuff. I think we need to be looking at that. And uh, and then lots of clapping and cheering. Lots of, um, you know, when obviously when the COVID thing's over, well, lots of um, elbow elbow bumps, you know, and, and when the COVID thing's over, lots of hugs between Celtic Rangers standing together. I don't think you should be allowed into an old firm game unless you've brought a buddy from the other supporters team. So if you're a Rangers fan, you can only get into an old firm derby if you've got a Celtic fan with you. Why don't we have dual tickets printed? There we are. So you've both got the one ticket and your buddies have got a number on it. That would be amazing. Hey, mate, how are you? Dinky do. I've always wanted to go to Scotland. I think everybody has silent stand. Love from Coat Bridge, says Gal. Gal, lovely to have you with us. So there we are. Gal, I never, ever, ever hated anybody. No, no, I just used to be flagging up the situation. Guys, we've got a few minutes left. Greetings from the United Arab Emirates. Love from Richard and Catherine. Richard, love to you guys in the UAE. So lovely to have you with us. I've been invited out to work in the UAE, but apparently it's very hot. Very hot. You can't walk in the sand. Union blockade blocking cotton to Europe. Ah, vanilla. You are amazing. Thank you. Uh, lots and lots of you. What's your favorite scotch? Well, Philippe, I used to be an expert on Scots, scotch whiskey. But I don't do it now, um, and the reason I don't do it is because I don't drink alcohol. I gave it up a few years ago. And well, ooh, these phones are busy this morning. Uh, greetings from Richard and Catherine. We love that. Thank you. Uh, so there we go. I've got the phone ringing here. Incredible. What's your favourite region of Scotland to visit? X, Z, Y, Z, Z. 
They are all absolutely stunningly beautiful places to visit, I can tell you. Whew. That's some fun, isn't it? Fantastic. We love all that. And a big dinky do, uh, say to every single one of you. Fantastic. Uh, so I would go any region. There's Maria. Dinky do, Maria. And thank you for sending me these beautiful stars. You're very, very kind. Uh, we've got a few minutes left, guys. We'll see what's happening. Where's you, Scotty? Uricon, dinky do. I am on the west coast of Scotland, but I'm on. I'm on TikTok. This is our second TikTok. We had to uh, pop up again. And uh, so there we have it. Wonderful, wonderful, uh, Sergio. Now then, who else have I got here? Can you all follow me? If you're joining us on TikTok, please get following, guys. So very, very important. Uh, we love it. Richard, thank you for that. That's very, very much appreciated. The UAE. Whereabouts in the UAE? There we are, just roughly. Uh, dinky do, I say to you. Now then, who else have we got with us this morning? There's Rocker. A very warm welcome, Rocker. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky do. Uh, now, what else is happening on here? Um, wait till I see. Do you use a skirt or trouser? Yes, I'll introduce you to the regimental sergeants of the Scottish regiments, and you can tell them you like their, their skirt. Good luck with that, I say. There we are. So it's never, ever, ever a skirt. It's a kilt. Highland tartan. Worn with great pride, I say to you. Do you know Hopeton House? I do, Hopeton House, yes. Uh, the uh, Now, Hopeton House is the Linlithgows. Is that right? Is it the Marquis of Linlithgow? Yes, the Hopes of Hopetown. I know Hopeton House, very, very beautiful old mansion just outside Edinburgh, uh, overlooking the bridges. Am I correct? There we are. Dinky, okay, thanks. There you are, EA. That's you, Telt. As we say, that's you told big style. Wonderful, isn't it? Wonderful. So, yes, of course, I know Hopeton House. Wonderful. Anyway, I'm sure it's the Marcus of Linlithgow. I think that's the title of the aristocratic family. Oi, oi, Savoy. Good morning, sir. How are we today? Wally, how lovely to have you with us in a big dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. That's what it's about. Uh, get uh, following on the TikTok, please, guys. Let's have a follow fest right now. So if you haven't followed, please get following. Thank you, Philippe. That's brilliant. Susie Max just joined us. Wally has sent me likes. I've got 763 likes. How good is that? Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Very much appreciate. All right, Scotty. Scott. And lovely to have you with us and a very good Tuesday morning to you. Tuesday the 5th of April. Uh, Gordon says, I need to get washed now. You certainly do. I am, of course, boasting and head to Coat Bridge, but I'll continue listening in the bathroom. It will be like Scott FM days when you did the morning show. Oh, the morning show on Scott FM. Do you know, Gordon, that has never, ever, ever been beaten for radio audience. I've got a thousand likes, guys. Thank you so much. Scotty, you're sympathetic. We do our best, Philippe. We look after people. Hey, Scotty, it's my mum's 88th birthday today. She's a huge Scotty fan. Any chance of a shout out? Yes, indeed. Because, Ferdy, you'll never, ever believe it. But one of my dearest friends is 88 today. Isn't that amazing? So that would be the 5th of April, 1934. Am I correct? Or am I correct? That's it. Gordon, you go and get a good wash. There we are. But I'm sure you're smelling delightful. Anyway, Dot Cotton, sad. Do you know Dot Cotton was a Scotty McClue fan? And that's a fact. And there was a lovely voiceover of her doing, ooh, that's Scotty McClue. I wish I had a copy of it. I don't know if I have. So there we are. But Doc Cotton, June Brown. And she was a lovely, lovely, lovely lady. And she was great friends with two broadcasting friends of mine. 
One was a man called John Manning, who very sadly, I gave John his first radio gig 32 years ago. John Manning, a very, very nice man, sadly no longer with us. John passed away far too young, and he and June Brown were terrific friends. And the other one is Derek McIntyre, the breakfast host of Nation Radio in Scotland, an outstanding broadcaster and a very nice man. He's just returned from Jamaica, I believe. My wife's gone to the West Indies. Jamaica? No, she went of her own accord. That old chestnut. So Derek McIntyre, a wonderful broadcaster, and he was also a great friend of, uh, of June Brown and of John Manning. Uh, so there we have it. Uh, now, what do we got here? You are never wrong, says user 34716. Oh, there's always the potential that I could be, you know. I made one mistake. I trusted one very bad man and lost a lot of money through it. One, one very bad man. But that's the only bad man I've ever met in my whole life. There we are. And he did have some serious problems. Uh, Scottish independence. Are they in favor of Scottish independence? Yes, I think most people are. I'm apolitical. I'm not a political animal. But I do think that Scotland would do very, very well uh, on its own economically because it had to seriously, seriously devalue its economy in the middle of a dreadful recession and famine in 1707 to facilitate economic union with England. There we are. Radio stations tend to call a show from about nine to midday as the mid-morning show. But it's not mid-morning at all. It's very late morning. Well, mid-morning, yes, is mid-morning halfway to midday? So would mid-morning be six o'clock in the morning? When well, sometimes Scotty McClure does his early bugs. Uh, no, uh, uh, I wouldn't. Uh, nobody eats herring <coughs> anymore. Well, they need to start. Somebody must eat it. But we need to get Argyle back as the center of the herring trade. In Veriri. Ardrishig, Tobermory, Tarbot, Campbelltown, Carradale. I like Nation Radio Scotland. I tend towards speech radio, but I think a lot of output from our national broadcasters poor. Well, what I feel, what people are calling speech radio is not speech radio, Gordon. And they don't know the techniques. A lot of it is stuffed with people who are trained in journalism but they haven't a clue about speech radio. Speech radio is a different thing. They just talk at people. They don't talk with people and to people. And that's what's wrong with these people. I can remember going on a, a top radio station, I shan't say which one, on a, a social media platform and having an argy-bargy with the fans of the presenter and the people dropped the presenter like a hot potato and started argy-barging with me. And I thought that's a very interesting test because I was giving them, although it was only typed messages, I was actually giving them proper talk radio. You see? Uh, so there we are. I love pickled herring. Ah, oh, Gordon, very nice. Hello, sir, dinky -doo. Has anybody ever tasted rotten herring? You can apparently buy rotten herring. Uh, so there we are. Campbellton Loch, I wish you were whiskey. Well, that was called after because Campbelltown used to be full of distilleries. And lots of distilleries. Dinky you do, Mr. McClure. Good morning to you, good sir. Good morning. I have to go now again. I wish you a nice day. Philippe, thank you so much, Philippe the 21st. Fat joker. You've just become a top viewer, and Fat Joker has given Scotty McClue wonderful TikTok gifts. How amazing is that? Romops, yes, Ram Crab, Romops, 10 TikToks from the wonderful Fat Joker PHAT. I thank you. Uh, hello, sir. Vusi Delta. 
How lovely to have you with us and welcome, welcome. So what we're not getting, Gordon, there's a huge gap in the market for proper talk radio. And proper talk radio, as you well know, is tried and tested, well proven, Scotty McClure. There we are. So I don't feel I have anything to prove there. Fat Joker's also sent me wishing bottles. Fat Joker's sending me mini speakers. Fat Joker, you'll clean yourself out financially. Thank you to every single TikToker who sends me gifts and a lot of you who have tapped the dollar on the YouTube. Thank you for that, Dinky Doo. Where would you be without the Numpty Hood so phone you up, Scotty? Numpty Hood. I don't know where we'd be without you. We'd obviously get on a lot better, but this might never have happened without your kindness. Amy Georgina is sending me red roses. Thank you so much, Amy. You've just become a top viewer as well. All for a good cause, Mr. McClure. Fat Joker, I bless you and I thank you. Hello from the USA, Vusi Delta. Where are you in the United States of America? We love having you with us and a very, very warm welcome. There we are, Dinky Doo. Amy Georgina, I can't thank you enough for your kindness and for your generosity. That's so lovely of you to do that. You like cars, Scotty. I don't like cars, 48-year man. I love cars. Anything you want to know about motor cars, you just shout. So there you are, Dinky Doo. Soroosh. Why would I be saying that? Can you play Fortnite once a week? Uh, we love you in the USA. I say, Numpty Heat, what are you doing up at this time in the morning? It's only 14 minutes past, sorry, 15 minutes past 10. It's a quarter past 10 in the morning on Tuesday the 5th of April. What's your favourite car, Scotty? 48-year man, I've had so many. My first car was a 1952 Austin A40 Somerset. What a gorgeous creature that was. I'm in the U.S. Army at North Dakota, middle of USA in the Midwest, bordering Canada. We say Delta, we salute you, sir. Dinky do. Fantastic. Thank you for your service. Uh, this is the United States of Alva. Coming on here, the hills of Alva. Where's the spring weather? This is Dreek. I know, Beachy Beachy. I'll send an email to the powers that be and say, can you sort out the weather? Dinky do. Thank you for following us, guys. Uh, can we have more followers on TikTok, please? Everybody following. Car, not car. Car, not car. Oh, yes, I've got you. Yes, Beachy Beachy. Absolutely good lad. Dinky do. Love you, sire. J Wash, what a nice thing to say. And dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. TikTokers, thank you for all your lovely gifts. And thank you for following Sean Michael. So good of you. Ha <laughs> ha. It's 4 a.m. here. Used to waking up in the military. Yes, or you love the sergeant round. Get yourself up, boy. All that stuff. Dinky do. Follow us as soon as you can. Am I hurting you, boy? No, Sergeant. I should be. I'm standing on your hair. Get it cut. <coughs> All that stuff. We love it. They were jolly good. It's El Scotio in Kuwait just now. E.G. the Bairn. It'll be very hot in Kuwait. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky doo from me, Scotty McClure. It's not 4 a.m. in Scotland, Reese Kelly. It certainly is not. It's 10.17 in the morning, British summer time. Scotty, thanks on the time check. Better put the clock forward. You need to, British summer time. So it's all about, I'm just talking to our lovely man in North Dakota here, our soldier, soldier boy. A big dinky doo to you, dinky doo jaywash. Thank you for following Gregory. My granda had an ME41 scout car. I was so embarrassed getting a lift to school. A scout car. What was the ME41 ran? There was a Daimler scout car. Aha, I love the accent. Hey, from Australia. Hi, love your accent, Serpent. Lovely to have you with us in Australia. Think you do from down under. Where are you from? I say to you, fella digger. Uh, there we are. Show, uh, what do we got here? Dinky-doo. 
Jay Ross, think you do, as uh, Scotland, Scottish water. You've just reminded me. I think it's time for a sip. General sup. Uh, so there we go. Good morning, mate. Good morning, Aidan. How lovely to have you from Brisbane. The Brisbane water. Now, is Brisbane not the third largest city? Do you not go Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane? Am I right or right? I'm sure that was a question last night on uh, the University Challenge or Mastermind that we're both on. Uh, I've nipped in for a quick view. Kalelio, thank you. Fantastic. Yep, sure are. Thank you, Serpent. Uh, Scotty, I think you're addicted to social media. You can get help for that, Professor Numpthead. You've given me all the help I need. You've facilitated us getting on here. You know, oh, that's lush. And obviously, not to heed, I give you a lot of help. <laughs> and boy, do you need it. And a lovely hat. Thank you, Miss Delta, sir. It's going to be clear I need to get one. You do, sir. There we are. Fantastic. I'll show you my soldier's hat. Uh, I'm new to TikTok. Sean, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Lush. Lush, that water. Pure Scottish water. And boy, is it lush. In fact, I'm going to have some more. You've just reminded me again. <sighs> That's lush. Oh, that is lush, guys. I need all of you following me on TikTok. Kunsel Juice is the best. We love it. It's not a website called Kunsel Juice. Scotty, what's happening with these badges? It's time I need to get one. Do you like them? There they go. Uh, fantastic. Are you on holiday from what, Cornelio? Well, let's just say I'm taking a wee bit of time out uh, from the glaciers. I love your voice. It's so calming. Reese. what a lovely thing to say. Uh, I listen to a lot of old 40s music and vintage radio at times. I must say, speech radio, you know just what it's about. We see Delta, I used to have on a big show quarter of a million people listening every half hour in a service area of uh, 2.2 million. So what about that? Well over 10%. Your own personalised Scottish water from the glaciers. Your voice is elegant, sire. Jay Walsh, you're very kind, sire. Uh, we love all that. Scotty, what's happening with the fatties on the beaches? Well, Rab, you can't say that. You have to say now the, uh, the large BMI. Uh, I listen to a lot of it. Well, the 40s music, yes. And, of course, America. Huge on radio, and I would imagine Dakota. I watch old musicals, I tell you, Wussy Delta, and I watch uh, Calamity Jane, Clam, for Take Me Back to the Black Hills. Take me back to the Black Hills. I better not sing anymore, but, um, you know, fantastic. And are the, are, is Dakota stunningly beautiful to tell? Scotty, I forgot to get tea bags from the shop. I hope I don't run out. I'm down to the last 160 bags. Well, that'll get you through till 11 o'clock. 15-year-old uh, Scottish water etiquette is highly important. Jay Wash, good manners and etiquette are vital. And they cost absolutely nothing. Nothing. There we are. I love Doris Day. Oh, it's not just outstanding rap. Fantastic. That's in my area too. The Black Hills are in South Dakota. Have you seen the Moosey? Tell me a little bit, please, because I'm fascinated. Is it beautiful countryside? Moonlight Bay, Silvery Moon. Oh, just what is it like, Rab? You see, this has opened a whole new discussion. We love all that. The Black Hills are in South Dakota, so I'm far away. I vacation there every year. Oh, Woosai, uh, it is amazing. Have you ever been to Edinburgh, Rhys Kelly? I used to broadcast out of Edinburgh. Scott FM was based at number one shed, uh, Albert Key Leith Docks. So I used to broadcast from the docks in Leith. It was wonderful. 
Uh, what a legend, uh, June Brown passing. Well, we'll be lost without her wittiness. She was a lovely, fat joker. I say a wee tune on the box for peacetime. Beachy, beachy, I'd love to, but the box is in the next room. Uh, stay at the cabin and hike in the hills. Oh, wow. This is incredible. Guys, we're talking to a top soldier who's based in North Dakota. And he's telling us all about the Black Hills of South Dakota, which inspired the song in the musical Calamity Jane. Is this not just the most amazing live TikTok ever? Watching from Helensburgh in Scotland. That's where I stay, says Reese. Where do you stay? You stay in the Black Hills, Reese. Wow. Send us lights. I remember you broadcasting out of the guile. Absolutely fat joker, yes, on Talk 107. There we are, tremendous. There we go. Sadly, not with us now. Uh, is the crane wall showing the signs of stopping or still as active as ever? I think it will run out of, uh, of, of wind, uh, you know, behind it because it's a ridiculous war that should never, ever, ever have happened. Uh, available on iPlayer? Uh, no, I'm not Rab. I don't think I am. Oh, I see the movie. Yes, indeed. Leith. <coughs> you stay in Leith. <coughs> do beg your pardon. Russia is struggling financially, aren't they? Russia has always struggled financially. Because... It's always had the wrong thing. They should never have got rid of the czar. That was a fast move in the wrong direction. There we are. So Russia's always struggled. Uh, for the first time, actually, we see that is amazing. Just went snowmobiling in the Black Hills two months ago for the first time. This is just a, what a great conversation. 4.25 a.m. here in the USA and Illinois. Music Addict, how lovely to have you with us. Thank you for joining us. Set your notifications and follow us, guys. What should I have for breakfast? Jibo, I would go for two slices of toast, uh, buttered, and ready to receive some scrambled egg. Uh, where are you from? Hi, Bannon. I'm from the universe. I'm a child of the universe, I say to you. Right, guys, it's time I wasn't here. I'm going to have to dash off. It's been a privilege this morning and an absolute joy. Set your notifications. Rab says, I'm related to the Tsars. My granny joined the Mormons and traced our ancestors. Toast and scrambled eggs it is. Cheers. Jabo, you will love it. Dash of pepper on the eggs. And I don't know if you're allowed a sprinkle of salt. Thank you for my 2,900 likes, guys. Love you, sire. J. Wash, thinky do, sire. The goodbye, sir. All right, Beachy Beachy. Beachy Beachy's requested the goodbye, sir. Try the Gordon Ramsay scrambled eggs method game changer. Well, try the Scotty McClure scrambled eggs method game changer. Yes, always cooked in butter. Here we go. Goodbye, everybody, goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain. Au revoir. And a cheerio. Love you lots. Stick out your tongues and say ta-ta. Love you all. Dinky-doo. Tongue coming out now. Ta-ta.